Okay, this video is all about the anatomy of your leg, so let's get into it. Well, hello. Welcome back to another muscle anatomy session. This time, we are focusing on the legs. Uh, don't mind this. Uh, don't look at the farmer's tan. As you can see, uh, it's very developed, uh, but that's okay. The purpose of this is to show off the calves the quads and the muscles that attach in between it as well. So without further ado, we'll start on the, um, the top part of your leg and uh, work on these muscles, outlining them with a light, pointing to them, and then going from there. So without further ado, the first muscle at the very top here in the front, uh, this muscle is your quadriceps essentially uh, pretty straightforward that's why they're called the quads and as you can see they uh, extend up your leg just this way you can see sort of the distinction line where your hamstring starts and your quad starts so as you can see um, I used to do powerlifting a lot for like many many years so these are built of steel like when I flex you, you there's nothing you can't grab anything on them there's zero fat on them at all like even up here this is all just muscle that I've built the same goes for this leg as well um, I've actually got a nice little diagram here that I'm going to pull up to talk about these muscles. I, I have the diagram for the back side, but for the purposes of today, it's to talk about the top portion of your muscle. Okay, we are back. So without further ado, we'll start with the muscles on the front, like I said. So going up the leg, I can't go too far, but up here, this is your gracilla just in this region here. This is the inner abductor areas. So when you're doing um, sumo deaths where your legs are more spread as opposed to conventional style being straight, you're working on this muscle up in here. Uh, if you've never used this muscle before, it, um, it can get your attention pretty quickly and it hurts a lot when you strain it. Uh, obviously so that's your gracilla which is sort of right up there and then you've got your adductors that run the length of your leg just up here like that and then on the front you have this big muscle this one right here again apologies for the farmer stand it's pretty apparent but this muscle right here this is your uh, rectus femoris it's a big muscle. It's where your femur is attached to, uh, essentially from the top of your hip up here, all the way down to um, your patella, where your tib and fib are in your leg. Uh, it's a very big muscle, and if you ever rip it or tear it, it sounds like sort of like a gunshot going off. It is not something um, that you ever want to deal with. Now, on the outside, this section right here, sort of along that line, that is the fastest lateralis, uh, lateral obviously to the top portion of your quads. Now, I need to take a little breather here. Are you following along? Can you tell me what this muscle was again, please, up here? That, that section, what is that muscle? Right, that's the gracilis and the adductor longus, that section. Now again, what was what's this muscle? Exactly, your rectus femoris, that's right. And then what the muscle I just said here on the outside, on this section again, what was that again? That is the vastus lateralis. Exactly, you're doing very well so far, I'm very proud of you, A+. Plus. Now obviously, both legs are just as big. I, like I said, I did a lot of lifting when I was younger because um, legs are the things that hold you up for the rest of your life. Um, now, I'm gonna say this word wrong, but this muscle right here that goes pretty much all the way down up into the inner groin area, that is your satarius. Now, I definitely said that wrong. Um, Apologies for anybody out there that has a medical degree in um, uh, of the medical field. 
essentially. Um, so again, let's go over this. Again, this is the gracilis up here. And then we have the adductor longus just on the inside flowing up this line up into that inner groin area. You have the front muscle, this one right here. This is your rectus femoris, your rectus femoris. On the outside, you have your vastus lateralis. That's this guy right here. What you're seeing here on the bottom side, which I won't go over today, this is your hamstring area, but we won't go over that. That's for another video for sure. And then on the inside, this muscle here, sort of like your teardrop, we'll call it. That's your um, satyria, sat, sat, um, I, that word, I can't say it. It's a teardrop. You can see it sort of forms here and it goes all the way up your leg and it connects way up there uh, by your hip bone. Now, essentially, we can move to the calf muscle. So your calf muscle is obviously this. This is your calf. Now, the thing about calves is you're either born with them. Let's see. You're either born with them. I can't show it to you that way. There we go. That's the best angle I can get. You're either born with them. You can see when you elongate them or shorten them. But this is the actual calf muscle right here. On the front side, you have your anterior tibius. That's this right here, anterior tibius that goes all the way up here. And then there's a ton of other muscles in there. Um, you have your patellar tendon. Uh, you have your flexor uh, dig uh, dig digicum horn. I can't say that word there. Uh, and then you have your other, your tibia and your fibia, all those types of um, muscles to work with. Now, now that we've already spoken about all that, we're going to go back to the quad. We'll give the other one some attention now. I'd like for you to tell me what the muscles are when I point to them. I'll give you about three seconds each time, okay? Okay, so what is the muscle way up there? That muscle that you can't see because there's pants covering it. Exactly, that is the what is it? Gracilis, again. And then what we have here, starting from here, all the way up into that area right there, connecting into the inner groin. Which muscle is that? That is your adductor longus. Exactly. These muscles get used when you are doing sumos. Exactly. Perfect. And then if we go on to the biggest muscle in the body, this muscle right here. What is this muscle? That whole section right here. That is your, say it with me, rectus femoris. Great. Now, if we go to the side on this side, you can see this side's a little bit more defined. This right here, that line. That is your fastest lateralis. Again, at this angle, you can see the calf. You can see the definition flowing down. You have your tibia and fibia. You have a lot of muscles connecting down to your Achilles tendon all the way down there. Getting back to this. And then we have on the inside here, this area with the teardrop. This, it's not as defined on this part of my leg, but comes up here. That is the satarius. Exactly. So I hope that you've learned a lot today on this video regarding the anatomy of your legs. I feel like sometimes you just got to teach people a thing about legs or two in a nice voice. It makes it more enjoyable. You'll pass your test when you have an anatomy exam in the future. So again, build your tree trunks because they're going to be keeping you up for the rest 